Remember these microfiber inserts have to go inside. You cannot put them on top. Microfiber cannot go against the skin. So you stuff those bad boys in. You will also probably find you need to pull them out for wash day. Welcome back to the Cloth Ever Podcast where today we are talking about the Bum Genius 5.0 Pocket. I am pre-recording a lot of stuff which is why this is coming out in non-January even though I haven't updated my calendar. It's bad luck you guys. Bad luck. But in a, an attempt to prep for my life, we are just sitting down and doing some pre-recordings. So the Bum Genius 5.0 is actually a diaper that took me forever to acquire. And I can't remember if I bought this, this or if Carrie gave it to me. I did end up doing a comparison of the Bum Genius 5.0 to the Elemental on my blog. It's down below. Drop a comment if you would like me to do a video comparison of the two products. And if you like seeing cloth diaper reviews, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for regular cloth diaper content. So this is a pocket cloth diaper. It is one of the classic pocket cloth diapers on the market. When we look at the internet, a lot of people recommend the Bum Genius Pocket. And it's gone through a lot of revisions. So what I have in my hand is the 5.0, which is the most latest version, unless they release a new version between now and when I publish this video. And there were previous versions like the 4.0 and the 3.0. A lot of people struggled with the 4.0 because of bad elastics and I have seen a lot of delamination with 3.0 and 4.0. Part of that is to be expected because as the product gets older, it does break down. Part of that is also just subpar elastics. And in the 5.0, Bum Genius did reinvent their elastics and I don't see as many complaints but I'm also not sure if there are as many people using these diapers. So this is a made in the United States diaper. It's manufactured in St. Louis, Missouri. So in Canada this is $24.95. It is a little bit cheaper than some pocket diapers because it has microfiber but it's also a little bit more expensive than others. I feel that it's competitively priced for a made in the United States product. However, if you're used to only spending seven or $10 on a pocket cloth diaper from overseas wholesalers, then this could seem like a little bit of uh... So we're gonna drop it down. We're gonna take a look at all these features of this diaper. I'm pretty sure I even found the microfiber inserts, which miracle. And then I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. This is the Bum Genius 5.0. It is a pocket cloth diaper. It features a patent cotton baby stretchy tab. And that means that you get a nice amount of stretch over to get a good snug fit on your baby. It is a three by three rise setting. And it's a one size diaper, eight to 35 pounds. The rise setting does go quite small. So this diaper I do find fits small babies. However, it doesn't have that rise crossover snap. So the rise setting goes quite far down on the elastics in the legs. It doesn't, it has just an encased elastic and nothing else fancy on the outside. Back elastic, no front elastic. When you open it up, you have a beautifully soft micro suede interior with a PUL tummy band to help prevent leaks as well as a back open pocket. This is a nice big envelope pocket style opening. It, you can flip it down. However, I feel like that sometimes just means you get poop catcher in there. Ins it also comes with two microfiber inserts. So it comes with a small one and then a big one and they're microfiber. This is the booster and then this is the full size insert and you can snap it down to get a good fit. I do find microfiber is pretty bulky, but that's what it is. I also really hate touching it. When we flip the diaper inside out, what do we got? We've got a nicely enforced seam. Look at that. No elastic because it's encased in the front, but you can easily change elastics on the Bum Genius. And then a gorgeous PUL. Mine has stained, so that's pretty common. I actually don't think that, I think there's something yellow just got in the wash because I've noticed quite a few diapers like this. So that's the gist on the Bum Genius Elemental fibers. So how do you put it on? Snap down your rise setting. So my child is still like at 25 pounds. I find that she's still kind of like in this middle rise. The Bum Genius products do work kind of best when you push them up. You would put baby here, put this on, wrap that around baby, and 
Then you would do up your snaps so you have a nice clean fit. Ta-da! That's the mom genius. All right, so if you know me, you know I hate pockets. So that's one of the reasons that I don't regularly use the Bum Genius 5.0. I also don't really like micro suede. I don't really like how micro suede feels and I'm pretty pro natural fibers. So in general, I actually don't use this diaper a lot. I do think that this is a great classic shape. It fits children very well and I'm obsessed with Bum Genius stretchy tabs. Nothing beats it. I've tried other stretchy tabs from cheaper wholesalers and I think that Bum Genius did it right the first time. I, I find the microfiber that comes with it is pretty bulky so I do typically replace it with a pre-fold or a flat diaper. I don't use like natural fiber inserts in my pockets. I typically just go to a pre-fold or flat. I haven't owned this for very long but when I did own it it wasn't in my regular stash. It was kind of like so I would consider I have two waves of my stash like the stuff I really love and then the stuff I only use because the stuff I really love is in the washing machine and this would go in that pile. I do find that my inserts mostly agitated out but for the most part yes you do need to remember to remove them. I love that it had a tummy PUL panel here like to kind of protect some of that wicking. It just it's not a favorite but this is a really classic diaper. This is a diaper worth trying, worth bringing into your stash. I would never recommend that you invest 25 of anything, but if you're curious about pocket cloth diapers, this is a really great starting point. And a lot of people really like the Bum Genius 5.0. I'm just saying, it's not, it's not my go-to choice. It's not my go-to choice, but it is a good diaper. Let me know about your Bum Genius 5.0 experience and how much you do or don't love this diaper. I feel like Bum Genius products are pretty polarizing. There are people out there who love and hate them. 